In this video I'm demonstrating the development of 4x5 sheet film in homemade development tubes. Each tube contains 100ml of liquid. I'm developing HP5 which I rated at uh, 200 ISO. I'm making a 4 to 1 mix, that's 20 mils of DDX with 80 mils of water. It's important that the measurement is accurate at this point due to the small quantities required. Ordinarily, I'd use a 100cc measuring cylinder, but I couldn't find it at this point, so I had to use the syringe. I'm developing at 20 degrees uh, Celsius. There's a light baffle built into the cap, which allows for uh, adding chemicals in daylight. I'm setting the development time for 8 minutes. This has been adjusted for the continuous agitation. I make a short shake of the tube here just to distribute the developer over the emulsion and then it is a continuous, very gentle rolling for the duration of the development time. At this point the developer is discarded. There's always about 10% of the developer remains in the tube, it gets caught behind the baffle, but the stop bath easily neutralizes the remainder. Typically I just use 30 seconds for the stop bath. I just calculate this uh, in my head, I don't use the timer for this. There's enough energy in the fixer for four sheets of film. I just pour the liquid out of the tube back into the container and I find this is enough just to uh, replenish the fixer. I add about one minute of fixing time per each sheet that I fix. This prevents uh, any purple spots on the film. It's important that the agitation is very gentle, it's just a gentle rolling action back and forth. At this point the cap can be completely removed from the tube and the fixer poured out. give the film a quick rinse with water. This helps uh, slide the film out of the tube and then it's on to a final rinse. And after a quick dip in some rinse aid, I just hang it out on the clothesline. If you have any questions about this developing technique, uh, please feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.